Hello, Mr. Collier here. This is part three of the Marble Launcher Lab, the analysis section. In this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze the data that we collected in part two using some actual examples with that actual data. So in this lab, we were using the Marble Launcher. We launched the marbles horizontally and attached a photo gate. With that, we could calculate how fast the marble leaves the barrel when you launch it. We can also then, knowing the speed of the marble, calculate its kinetic energy. And knowing its kinetic energy, we can calculate and predict its potential energy and therefore its height at the highest point. So here's our data table. Uh, I'm going to break this down in a minute, but the basic idea is that with the marble launcher at two clicks, three clicks, and four clicks, we're going to collect some time data, calculate the speed, and use that to calculate the kinetic energy. Then we're going to predict the maximum height, actually launch it, and figure out how high it actually went. So now I've zoomed in on the first part of the data table. I'm at barrel setting two clicks, and I'm going to write down our three times from our three launches in the data. Okay, so here's the three times that our marble took to go through the launcher's photo gate when it was pulled back two clicks. The distance for the marble is always 0 0.019 meters or 1.9 centimeters, which is the diameter of that marble. So we're going to take 0 0.019, divide it by the time through the photo gate, and that'll give us the speed. So our three speeds are 3.96, 3.88, and 3.73 meters per second. Average those together and you get 3.86 meters per second. So now you see I have our average speed brought over and I'm looking at the kind of middle portion of the data table, the kinetic energy, potential energy, and the predicted max height. So this is a little bit trickier. To calculate kinetic energy, you're gonna do one half mass times velocity squared. The mass of the marble is 0 0.0041 kilograms. You're going to multiply that by the velocity, 3.86. Don't forget to square it, and that will give you the kinetic energy, which is 0 0.0305 joules. Now at the highest point, the marble will have transformed all that kinetic energy into potential energy. So the potential energy at the top of the flight is exactly the same as the kinetic energy when it launched. Now we're going to calculate the predicted max height. To do this, we're going to use the kinetic energy at the beginning and set it equal to the potential energy at the highest point. In this case, the masses cancel out and we're solving for the height. So if I simplify that down, I will get the height is equal to v squared over 2g. Now for our data, the height will be 3.86 squared over 2 times 9.8. That works out to be a predicted height of 0 0.760 meters. So we've now predicted that the marble should go about 76 centimeters into the air. Next, we tested our prediction by actually launching the marble straight into the air. If you watch the video carefully, we got three heights, about 69 centimeters, 60 centimeters, and 62 centimeters which averages out to 0.64 meters. Next, we're going to calculate our percent error, comparing our actual height to our predicted height. Actual minus predicted divided by actual times 100 gives you our percent error. And this worked out to be about 19% error. So not a perfect prediction, but you're going to explore in your conclusions why that might be. So to summarize what you have to do in this lab for your calculations, you look at the times from your data. That's of the marble going horizontally through the photo gate. The distance of the marble is its diameter. Distance divided by time tells you the speed. Average those three speeds and use that speed to calculate the kinetic energy of the marble as it leaves the barrel. All of that kinetic energy turns into potential energy as it flies into the air, so you can predict the maximum height that it'll reach using the law of conservation of energy. Then we actually turned it upright and launched it into the air, averaged those trials, and figured out how right or how wrong we were. You've got a few conclusions to answer, and that's it. Good luck.